Hi, good morning everyone. I hope all of you are doing good and uh, you would have watched our uh, previous whiteboard videos. I covered few of the scenarios. Today we are going to discuss about the business process. Third party procurement. Third party procurement. So in this third party procurement, we will have a three parties who are involving in the overall process and uh, what are the benefits to the company and what are the steps we need to do. Today we are going to learn. So if you see the first the company and uh, customer and the vendor. There are three parties are involved. First one is company vendor and the customer. So in this business process a customer expects certain kind of service or a product from the company and the company creates the purchase order to vendor and asks that vendor to send that materials to their customer. It can be any kind of a product, any kind of a stock material or else it can be a service, it can be a rental of a product or it can be an IT service, anything. So the company will buy from the vendor and with some margin they will sell to the customer. For example, let's take it a product A, a company is buying from the vendor for $100 and they charge $130 from the customer because the vendor will give that $100 product to the customer and the $20 to $30 of margin will be taken by the company. So here if you see about the SAP wise, what are the process? Let's say first a sales order. A sales order will be created between a customer and company. Based on the customer requirement, a sales order will be created. Call it as sales order. Third party sales order, separate uh, delivery type and separate sales order type will be available for third party. A third party SO will be created by the company based on the customer requirement. Once the sales order is created in SAP, then system will automatically create system will automatically create purchase requisition. So once the SO is created, system will automatically create the third party purchase requisition. So third party purchase requisition, it will be converted to PO and this PO will be sent to the vendor. This PO will contain the address to deliver the goods to the customer. So the physical goods will go to customer. Physical goods will be directly sent to the customer the purchase order will be sent to vendor and the invoice copy the mm invoice okay why i am using mm invoice here because we are dealing with sales also so mm or vendor invoice will be sent to the company for example the po was created for 100 dollar system will create 100 dollar po and invoice will be sent to the company for same hundred dollar okay but in this sales order already there is a price negotiation was done and that is 140 dollar there will be a separate sales pricing procedure will be available and the company can maintain that uh, the material price and uh, some handling charges and uh, markup fee all those things they will include and they will add the 140 dollars for the sales order price so here if you see uh, the purchase order is created for $100 and 
and invoice is, has come from the vendor to company for $100. Physical goods are sent to customer. Customer has requested the stock from company and they got their stock. So there will be a sales invoice. So a company will send them sales invoice. Okay. Sales invoice will be sent from the company to customer and the customer will pay according to that invoice of $140. So you are buying for $100 and uh, all these procurement, handling things, everything, maybe $10, $15 of uh, you are going to spend. So the remaining $25 will be your profit. So this is the way how it happens. Here uh, I have seen two types of uh, third party procurement. Few processes, we have a goods receipt okay so we have a goods receipt and a few processes uh, we don't have a goods receipt for example if you don't want to uh, track that goods receipt and directly do the invoice then the, it will be directly PO and invoice otherwise when the physical goods are received at the customer you need to perform the post goods receipt and then invoice this is the invoice when the invoice comes you have to get invoice after that payment to vendor okay in the same way we have a sales order and uh, sales invoice and you can keep outbound delivery or directly sales order and invoice so then the sales cycle of sales order billing will be created the sales invoice means the sales billing invoice okay so from company to customer s4 do billing pj billing that can be there and in the same way here procurement, normal procurement will be there and here sales cycle will be there. SO, if you are use DO, then PGI, okay. and uh, billing. But I have seen another business process like I mentioned that we don't have this DO and PGI concept. It will be directly SO and billing because when we do the PO is completely we handled with a new account assignment category so that there is no stock tracking once the goods are received there the invoice will be posted so this is the technical the billing PGI all those stuff but you need to understand that how does third party procurement happen a company buy the material from the vendor and ask directly to send to customer based on third party PR and PO the address will be the customer address and uh, they will get some markup fee additional amount will be from the customer to company so this is what third party procurement happens among company vendor and customer technically like what are the uh, TAS item category or uh, PO you can get a separate PO and uh, you will use that uh, different kind of item category, account item category, all are SAP technical things that we discuss in different uh, normal SAP technical videos. I hope this video has given you enough understanding how does third party procurement happen and what are the processes are involved. If you really like the video, keep sharing with your SAP circle and um, if you have any kind of inputs, please provide your valuable inputs. I hope it will be helpful for improving the videos. Thanks for watching.